hi everyone and welcome back welcome to my youtube channel and here we are covering uber eats clone app and in this video we are going to build this dashboard app so as i decided that uh, first we are going to build this dashboard where we have a single simple sign up login and this, this dashboard which has a header footer and the new bar so what we are going to do is we are going to use this next is 13 and we are creating a restaurant admin dashboard so we are just going to start with a very basic folder structure next is 13 so in, in source folder we created app component lib helper utilities all these folders i am already talking uh, already talking about next js so you are already familiar like uh, what is the folder structure and how the next js 13 really works so here we are just creating a basic folder source app uh, components lib utilities helpers and all so we are baselining the structure of the component and now we are going to have a two different uh, auth groups like the layout groups which is auth and dashboard because we are going to have a login sign up and the dashboard page so here inside authentication we are going to have a login and register page we have already seen the simple ui which is just asking for a couple of fields here we will create a page.tsx and layout.tsx in both sign in and the register pages this is how we define the page based route in the next CS 13 and then in the dashboard also we are going to define the layout page.tsx and couple of routes because once user is logged in he will be redirected to the dashboard page so this video will talk about only the skeleton of the html and with the tailwind we are trying to baseline some components like the header sidebar footer and the dashboard components so that we can proceed build on top of that now uh, in the dashboard we created a layout loading and page.tsx in sign in we will create a, a layout.tsx in sign up also we will create a layout.tsx because these are the independent components which will have independent routes and then if once you do the login we will be navigated to the dashboard route okay now inside a components because component uh, can be either client side or server components so most of the components will be client only components here we are going to create a components that belongs to the dashboard or that belongs to the authentication like in the login and sign up also we are going to have a couple of create components and here is our tailwind i'm just a uh, tailwind and post css configuration and this is our package.json very basic setup i mean this is the existing boilerplate i didn't do anything additional for this project this is the next js13 dashboard app we are building and this is a pretty much simple dashboard app i'm going to build uh, which contains simple header sidebar and the dashboard and the footer and then we can create uh, these multiple components together these are like login which contains the username password and the sign up a simple form which we are going to build and this is the dashboard okay so let's start writing components so uh, we all we are inside a sign in routes or the sign up these are the two routes page based routes inside the auth group so we will start creating these components like export default uh, sign in and export default sign up and those have their own layout files already created inside them so they will use their layout defined there to create a couple of components like for sign in login and sign up there is a small header which contains the logo and text and then there are a couple of input text fields so we are going to build a simple dynamic form so we are going to have a simple login.tsx, uh, signup.tsx, header and input.tsx because what we are going to do is we are going to build a, a simple JSON which contains number of form fields like the username, password, email, uh, password, confirm password and we will just pass that to a component and based on number of uh, input fields it will build the form so it's like some simple dynamic form we are going to build and this is a simple sign in which is going to import header from the components and the login component and it will just return it and it is a client component so we have to write use client at the top of the page so we are importing the auth header and auth login from components and we are able to import it using at the rate components because in the ts config we have defined the path alias path so inside header we are going to import so it's like two components we are importing header and uh, another is a login so it's like a group so we'll put them inside together with one common parent so it's like a header and the login inside header you can pass login okay this is the 
because we are going to use a common header for the login and register so it will say okay login page or the register page so based on the page you are at you will be able to show the label on the top with the logo okay login sign in or sign up reset password forget password or something like that inside this header it's a simple component we have export default uh, header which will just show some logo with some message this is a simple auth header we have created and the, these components will be uh, displayed on the login screen and the sign up screen so it's like a div class name we are using tailwind classes so margin bottom uh, 10 and then uh, simple we have a simple label and some logo so we can just put a justify we, because we are using a flex layout flex justify center and then uh, we have simple text and some input props coming in like uh, it's like a common header so the what is the heading what is the title and any link url you are passing link name you can just all pass all of these properties this is image attribute if you want to show some kind of a logo then you can use it and then some kind of a message you can pass it so this is a simple uh, auth header we have created and now you can uh, populate other attributes like a heading title which talks about what we are doing now what we will do is we will clean up the node modules so these warnings can go away now let's build our simple login component we have created a auth header component now login component that will also be a simple export default uh, function login and uh, this will contain a jsx that is going to render our login form and this login component is going to use this input components to render the forms and we are going to have a form state like login state and set login state because we have to input text field we also need to capture the values entered by the user and when you submit the form on submit handler also we need to add in this so here what it is going to return is just a simple form here we are just building form so in the constant we are going to have a simple json file that json file is nothing but uh, a simple form field properties like okay we i have a username email uh, sorry email and password for the login form so export const uh, the login form fields that is just a array of objects and inside object we have couple of properties let's say the email and the password so that i will copy from my template so these are the email and the password because in a simple input text field, what all things you have a label, ID, name, type, autocomplete, is required, placeholder. All these properties we are going to dynamically pass through these this array. So we can create because all are text fields. If you have a select, drop down, checkbox, then obviously you need to have an input type property. Also input type checkbox, input type uh, text or input type date range and all. Here input type all are fields. Here can be input type uh, password, but uh, it's like input type email, password or text. These are the three input types we have and we can easily uh, just parse this JSON object and iterate over this and can render another component which will just, uh, which will just render the input fields and will pass these arguments dynamically like the type, placeholder, value, label is complete placeholder all these value and then we will just uh, export it i think i'm already exporting them so this is just a static uh, json form fields we have created now we are going to use these login form fields inside this array so first of all let's uh, add some tailwind classes and then we'll iterate to this particular fields so form class name margin top eight and space vertically uh, six and then uh, we have own submit so write own submit handler and then populate the classes like div is class name so i can just copy a simple tailwind form uh, layout or you can just build a simple using tailwind classes so, yeah, so we just added a login form fields get each and every form field and then uh, write another component which is the input component and pass this field property there and pass the dynamic so here what i'm doing is uh, we are we are going to render the input to a component and here this is a handle submit handler we have added that will handle the form submission 
and here we are going to render the input component in this input component we can pass all the properties uh, like the the complete field property so key is the uh, field dot id or field dot name i guess field dot id and this input is a component and then we can add more properties whatever we are passing in the props to this component this key is the unique so what all other properties we have like handle change value label text label for id name type is required placeholder and uh, this is the login state not found so we need to add the type for this login state so instead of passing the empty object to the youth state we can create a custom type and pass for that field state sorry a log it's a login state and just pass the field state which is of type any and then we will be writing this input component and we are passing all the props so this is our input component input component will be a simple same component export default input component it is receiving multiple props like the name placeholder label text label for id uh, type uh, all these properties are being passed as a props handle change value label text label for and uh, we will just it what it will render it will render the input type field and it will get all these props from the parent component so we can define even the, the interface for it and instead of typing the any we can just use that as a type and then uh, placeholder custom class if you want to override this then we can use a custom class and uh, this is going to simply render our gsx form gsx input form and here we are defining the prop types like handle changes of type function which is returning void values of type string rest all are like returning string so it's like a, you can specify the custom type instead of putting just any as a props these are the input props we are getting from the parent component and placeholder is of type string custom class is of type string all these property we are defining in, in a custom type let's fix all these things and then we'll just pass this custom type to our component now we'll just put some div class name and uh, let's fix this error so this is what it will render it's a simple input type field and uh, these are the different properties we are passing there is an error at line 25 we are using arrow function that is unnecessary because we are already putting a function okay so we fix that small error fixed input class is another property we are getting so it's like input class which we are going to populate for the input fields these are the tailwind utility classes we have added so this is like an input component we have created now login and the sign up both of the component can use this input property so now same as the login we can also create a simple sign up form sign up component so here we just have a handle change and now we can just think about uh, what we are doing with the simple sign in page i mean the login we are just using this input fields now on the handle change whenever you are typing in any particular text field we can just set login state and uh, what is the current login state and we can just override the each and every attribute value so like there are three input text field we don't want to write a three different uh, handler we can just write a simple handler and based on the e.target.id and the value we can populate all the three properties using the theme handler and then there is a handle submit we will just uh, submit the form once you have entered all the values we'll add the form validations by using some library like react hook forms for make all these libraries and here e dot prevent default and then we can submit the form then we will define some pattern how we can interact with the apis which we already have to just create a user and do the login so this is the login state and here we just copied the same component code to the sign up and we will just replace the login with the sign up 
because it's kind of the same we are going to deal with the sign up fields instead of a login fields here so we just change it to the sign up state set sign up state and uh, we are just doing simple modification on the existing code of the login set sign up state and then here instead of login state it will become a sign up state yield.id so now we are just iterating on the sign up field so it's like a same code can be reused across both the components login uh, sorry sign in and the sign up and then there will be a button submit button which we already have a form action component and handle submit whenever you submit that handle submit will get triggered and what handle submit will do is it will submit the form values to the server and we already have an api we will do the integration okay so this is our simple sign up component and the login component both has this submit button and both are red so input text field we have header and all and uh, we are already importing both the components in the parent component like at the page level we can also define a simple layout what the layout will do is layout won't do much because here we need to but we need to define it otherwise how would we render it so there should be some root layout um, at the sign in level because currently we don't have it but we will also create a default root layout outside this auth and the dashboard and then this is the the layout we are creating for the sign in page so it's like a simple body with the flag justify center and we can also set the width of the sign in form and the sign up form so we'll just put a div class name uh, width 1 by 3 so total and margin auto so that uh, our content will be centrally aligned with the width of one third of the the whole viewport and we are same we can use for the sign up here also it's a sign up form so we can just use same auth layout and this is how it will work now we can just play around and run the server and can see how this uh, log sign in form and the sign in sign up form looks like okay so we just created all the components and now at the app level we can also create a global.css because and then we'll import these global.css at the both the components so that because either you add this global.css at the root layout which we don't have right now or otherwise you have to import it in the sign in or the sign up layouts because nowhere else we are adding these uh, tailwind utilities so they needs to be there in the layout otherwise we won't get the styles so that's enough and now we can just play with the sign in and the sign up forms now we are pretty much done with the login and sign up let's work on the layout or let's work on the dashboard so dashboard will also have a lot of components we have a dashboard header dashboard sidebar dashboard main container components so inside the uh, components there, there are two folders auth and the dashboard auth has all the components related to auth like auth header auth login and sign up in the dashboard in the layouts we are going to create all the child components let's say header sidebar footer and uh, simple dashboard components so there is a dashboard.tsx and then we have a header folder sidebar folder or we can have a footer otherwise it's like a footer.tsx simple footer component and then we will create all the components like header.tsx that will uh, import all the things from the header folder because header also have uh, multiple components there is a logo there is a drop down there is a sign out and uh, some kind of a profile icon and all those things and there is a sidebar which has a lot of things there is a logo the uh, the company logo and the side menu items which we see on the vertical left so this is a simple login and sign up which we have created uh, which is working perfectly fine now we are moving to create the layouts for the dashboard so we have they just uh, created these folder structure for the dashboard layout header sidebar and uh, what will happen now is we are going to create these fill up these components and we will see these now live how the dashboard components are getting populated and uh, how we are going to define the dashboard layouts because in dashboard layout we need to put header sidebar and the mean uh, children's inside the body So now let's work on uh, dashboard layout. We also have the same folders here. Let's see head, layout, loading, and the page.tsx. So these are the, the dashboard components. So what we will do is we will start working on the layout, what all components we are going to have inside dashboard.
so when you hit a forward slash dashboard then this layout will uh, come into picture and it will render this page.tsx component so inside root layout what all things we have is uh, we have header footer and all we can also create a default page the root page like when you hit a forward slash what should render we don't have it right now so we will create a root layout inside layout.tsx and page.tsx will just say hello world maybe we'll just redefine some landing page okay hello welcome admin or something as a public page and then there is a layout which is nothing but simply returning the all the children's i mean it's not defining any specific layout and it is a use client and inside a layout also it's like a root layout which is just returning the children's it's not adding any div this is the root layout which will be used uh, as a parent layout of, of for all the children's for all the components we are going to define inside auth and the dashboard so it is just a root layout which we wanted to have and it is rendering just a children and then this uh, root layout now we just have a forward class uh, route also available so when you hit a forward slash it will take you to show you just a home page here you can see it is rendering the home now we need to fix a lot of components and these lot of errors coming so in the dashboard we have this layout component we will just return or some children or we will define the layouts because this is the important part now we are on the dashboard page that we are building primarily so here we do have a lot of components if you see the dashboard layout we have a header we have a sidebar and we have a the main content so in the simple layout this is html head body inside body we can render all the components which we wanted to render and those components we can segregate as a dashboard header sidebar or the main container component so inside body i'm going to so my whole layout is flex background is gray and minimum height screen and the position is relative and inside that I going, I'm going to have these three components sidebar header and footer so sidebar is which is coming on the left uh, nav and uh, header which is a top nav and the footer component these are the three components we are going to define inside the components dashboard layout so we are going to have uh, three different components so inside layout we have a sidebar we have a header so our rest of the journey is building these three components nicely so that we can get a final nice view with the help of these tailwind utilities which we are writing with this layouts so here uh, what do we have is we have sidebar this is sidebar just a simple component okay just a si that's a simple tag we have and then there is a header like these are the components we already have created inside layout we have a sidebar sidebar is just a simple component header this is the header component which contains a lot of things in our application and uh, so this is the layout which is rendering three children's one is sidebar header and footer now it's all about how we format all these three components and this is the page component that is going to be displayed apart from layout what is going to be added inside the the whole view is the page.tsx because it is it will be returning some component that will be a children to the the layout of dashboard so once you see the dashboard this will be presented inside a uh, body of the page a loading component we can just create a simple default uh, loading page because we created the loading.tsx so just put a simple span loading and then we will work on uh, these layout components header sidebar and the main uh, components and this is use client i mean all our client based components so if some somewhere we missed it we need to add it so we will just add a dashboard so dashboard will use uh, you can see here it is for now it is using the sidebar and header components so I already put something inside a header like user menu and all so it is just trying to rent, return render it we will see what all styles are which we are importing so dashboard is like the the main body part we are using we are rendering through the dashboard so once we see the dashboard available we can just uh, render the, the charts the table the accordions all the custom made components inside a grid 
through this component so it will have a flex layout and inside that you will have a grids and inside grid you can put the containers like uh, we can see the fancy tables uh, accordions data grids all those components we can put inside this in our case we will design something for the admin uh, part like at the restaurant admin will see the number of orders the statics per day and all those sort of things will be available on the landing page of the dashboard for the admin user that we are going to put inside this dashboard tsx because this is going to be rendered inside the dashboard uh, page route it's like this is just a dashboard container we have and uh, we are importing this inside the dashboard page dot tsx so dashboard page dot tsx is rendering uh, this particular component so instead of this we can just render the dashboard component which we have created so we just put it as a dashboard component because i think the component name and the import both are same so we will just say it as a dashboard component and we will import it from the same place and that's it So now we'll work on the sidebar header and footer let's say let's work on one by one let's talk about first header what all things we have inside header and we will try to see things closely what all we have a header and what it is rendering on the ui with the help of the tailwind utility classes so this is our simple header component what this header component contains a simple uh, user menu menu icon and then user menu and then notifications and the logout button these are the three components it's also using the flex layout and then there are uh, there is a one there are two childs of this one is the menu icon simple and then inside a div because we need to move things at the right side and there are two menu items user menu notifications and the logout button so there are two childs two flex containers which first will contain the user one menu another will contain notification let's import some tailwind utilities so that we can write these classes very easily and nicely with the autocomplete facility so whenever we type yeah this is what i want through these uh, add-ons which we have added so that we can get all the autocomplete for these classes which we are writing because nobody can remember all these classes and if there is a plugin available we should utilize it so there is a in the menu icon uh, we will be rendering some icon svg icon i mean menu icon we are importing from the hero icons so and then inside this we have a user menu and notifications logout button so this is our header layout and inside header layout it's all about flex container on the top which has a height of 20 and it has uh, the horizontal padding added for the small and the, uh, the all the rest of all the screen and this is the flex screen which is the flex screen zero item center margin auto and then inside this we have we have put an border and we have these two child components one is a user menu another is a another group which contains notifications and this uh, let's see let's debug this what is happening here so let's first debug the header component what is really happening there because we are not getting the Styles applied so we'll just put the, the classes the class name and this is the header component right uh, flex group which is uh, x to gray 50 or 100 and uh, inside this we have the header component so this header component is having three child components which we are rendering so we will see what all things we have inside header component there is a user menu and there is a logout button notification bell icon these are just a simple components which we have added and after the header we are rendering the children this is for dashboard layout okay and inside header we have this menu icon and then user menu and then we have notifications and the logout button this user menu is just a simple button let's add more things user menu is all about populating the profile with the with the name and uh, the role and just a simple profile icon we will just put some more classes to show the first of all user profile with the simple image and the name and the, the profile type like the which contains the role so this is just uh, showing this simple circle image and then uh, maybe a username and some profile icon 
so that is just a user info component which we have and then uh, if we have the image about the user so we just put some styling about the labels and all and then just uh, image about it so this is what do we have right now which is not applying the styles so what is the problem problem is we forgot to import the tailwind utilities so none of the styles were applied and we were like surprised what was happening no none of the styles were applied and now, now you can see the same layouts converted to something like this so we have a simple and plain and simple header created and this is how it looks like earlier we were not getting it because the tailwind uh, css was not imported in the layout of the dashboard either we import it in the root layout so we don't need to import it in individual layout and we won't have this problem and this is the dashboard container which is a dashboard page which we have and now what we are going to do we are going to work on the sidebar so here we are going to have a sidebar folder and sidebar component so sidebar component is going to have a nice and clean layout at the left panel so that we can import uh, we can show multiple menu icons uh, menu icons and then ch their children so if we have a sub menus and simply a nice logo from the left side so we'll just start adding some classes to the for building this sidebar so sidebar is another component after header header we are now able to show some nice uh, stuff simple tailwind header with a white background and couple of menu options now we are writing the sidebar component which is also going to have a flex flex layout with the column and z index 50 because it is going to superimpose over the body of uh, our current screen and then we are going to have a couple of uh, child components style like logo and name items because we have a logo and then there is a navigation items which is going to switch the side nav to left to right and right to left like small expand and collapse the the side nav and then we are going to have a nav items nav items are like uh, whatever the menu items you wanted to render so nav items and then a setting button like setting button is optional on the bottom if you want to have some settings options for each and every you logged in user so this is simply company logo so like low component is just a simply showing the company logo and then we have a name and name item component so here we will replace it with the name name component is going to show a simple individual simple sidebar like all the new links and new new component is going to render the new item component because there will be a multiple new items which we are going to render in the the left menu and uh, this is the flex column vertical space and inside this we are going to put some classes utility uh, tailwind utilities like what is the inline flex because we are going to inline all the elements and uh, item center justify center so whatever we are going to put which that will be inline flex inside this div okay three new items created new items uh, is just like a simple another component we can create and uh, new item will just for now can render a simple message okay menu sub menu item one two or three we should be able to render it in the new component new component is getting rendered inside our layout okay so new item component we can just for now display a simple okay page one page two now we have simple new bar which contains the new and new item let's render them here so this is a sidebar we are rendering in the dashboard layout so that it can be visible on the screen so sidebar we are importing and uh, you can see the simple sidebar with all these uh, multiple items which are being shown horizontally so we will see what is happening in the classes so here you can see sidebar new which has a three new items which are just showing span item and uh, we'll just put some div classes and then we'll try to make them more vertical because we need to show the menu icons which are vertical these are all horizontal so we'll just uh, try to add some play some play with some classes here inline flex flex column maybe flex column justify center that is fine yeah flex column so we'll just that align that in the flex column 
so we are just going to play with the tailwind utilities and make our life easier now let's build our new menu so inside new menu if you have seen the original design there is a, a switcher sidebar status which so that you can move the new menu from uh, left to right like expand and collapse so we are going to have the sidebar status and then uh, based on the sidebar status we are going to render two different uh, these hero icons one is going left to right and right to left so it's like simple toggle we are going to have in our components so this is arrow left icon and then we just define some classes for it and this we are going to render only if uh, this sidebar status is true so when you click on it then there is a we are going to toggle this to the false so if it is false we will switch the arrow icon from right to left so that is just a simple toggle switch we are adding which is like sidebar close and sidebar open so const sidebar close that is just a handler and that will just say set sidebar status is false and uh, based on the sidebar status we can just write a ternary condition okay once true show this icon once false show this particular icon so here with the ternary operator if sidebar status is true show this icon otherwise show the opposite of it so it is just like a simple another icon arrow arrow narrow right icon and this is sidebar open sidebar open is just another handler we can add which will set set sidebar status to true so it's like a simple mutation we are doing to the state and then once we have it we can just have uh, menu icons new items because this is the new menu and after that we are going to have a new items and the new items are uh, we can create the component new items is like showing the some kind of uh, hero icons and uh, this is going to be displayed in the left panel so when you click on it we can navigate to that particular page so here we are going to pass couple of properties like sidebar status what should be the link when you click on it what should be the label what should be the link what is the menu title do you have a sub menu because it's a left uh, new sidebar so there can be a sub menu when you click on it and then you click on sub menu so sub menu properties do you have a sub menu sub menu is false or sub menu array if there are some sub menu you are passing so it's like a couple of properties we, uh, we are passing as a props to this new item component so this new item we are importing from here and it is just simply using this utility classes and trying to show the new menu and here we can just see uh, we can see this toggle switch is coming up now and from the new item i think we missed something we are not passing the children children it's nothing but uh, some uh, icon we are passing to the new item which we are uh, rendering in the new item come for the icon we are passing collection icon I and mean, we'll fix all these icons and small small uh, issues and you can see here this is our side new we have created a simple side new this is what we want from the side new bar now here you can create a multiple new items one is for all the items one is for all the users one is for showing the, all the restaurant menu items and then one is for recent orders dashboard charts and all whatever you want you can put that inside a new item and uh, now you have header you have a new item you can also define sub menus and then render those sub menus by passing the array from the parent component now we are uh, somewhat ready with the core structure i mean the basic design which talks about a simple header footer sidebar new bar we now we need to design more about the dashboard because in this dashboard which is the, the central body part we are going to show some grids charts tabular structures and all either you can copy for now for the demo from the tailwind uh, utility websites showing some kind of a chart websites and all and here you can see we, I will just write some uh, content for the dashboard page which we are seeing uh, now after header and sidebar there is a dashboard content simply the title and the simple button and after that we can have a simple grid and put some content uh, inside the grid that completes our simple design here we didn't put any dynamic behavior currently when you click on to the user the menu is not opening 
we need to close the menu and when you click on the body we, we need to close this sidebar all those dynamic behavior we need to address uh, when we are stopping when we start writing more components or I will do it offline and uh, present it to you so these are this is like a simple dashboard page and when we see this you can see simply nicely dashboard labels and now you can just add more widgets add more containers blocks to this dashboard page we just need to have a simple tailwind utility knowledge how to define the flex layouts and in the inside of flex layout how to create these uh, containers and the ui blocks or just use uh, grids so here uh, we have a dashboard dashboard page and at, at the right right i want to just create a simple button just for simple demo inline flex and just a button properties the hover focus what is the the background of button adding padding margin and what is the text color and when what is the hover behavior text purple when you hover it it would look like this when you focus it it would look like this so these are really uh, helper utilities which tailwind provides and this is why i like because i'm not a css writer i'm not very good at designs building the design from scratch so what i do is either i pick from some tailwind uh, helpers and build some simple layout so that can do my job otherwise you can build as complex as you want these are just a style css layout by using these different uh, framework and different library like material bootstrap bootstrap is also some kind of a same utility and component based library uh, tailwind is purely utility based so here you can see we just got some button now in the bottom you can just add some containers and that completes our simple design of the dashboard here we are creating sections and in this section you can just define the grid container right this is like a grid uh, so we are done with the flex box here it's a grid column of two and for the medium screen md screen uh, for the large screen there will be a grid column four and uh, there will be a gap inside these grid blocks which is gap six and now inside that you can create n number of children's and those can have the flex container flex layout but these all are defined inside a parent grid so this is pretty much now we will add more containers inside this and we will we'll make it let's say i wanted to show you some simple profile card in this so what i will do is i will copy this and i will put this inside this container format the classes and i uh, will try to see if this fixes everything we need to close the image tag okay so what uh, we are ready now i will do is i'll just try to move this these additional classes and we'll try to move this uh, card to the top by removing this unnecessary space okay so this is just a simple dashboard design we have created uh nothing fancy just i was just wanted to show you just a basic admin layout now the same styles or same components we can use for any other admin app which we are going to build for the uber eats i mean i do i wanted to keep my design very simple so we can focus more on the logic and the interactions with the apis and all this is very simple dashboard and here in this body we are going to play with the content